So I wanted to talk about something that I've been working on, and hopefully we will have this launched uh, in the new year on the Reciprocity platform. And hopefully it's going to save some time for you um, and others. We've been developing it, it for the last couple of months, and it's going to be the latest addition to the platform. Um, hopefully this is a sneak peek to get you excited about it. And the idea is to make our lives easier by grouping different papers, different research ideas together to create a program, to create um, some sort of tool that allows you to have a group of papers, say like 30 papers, like in a classroom or in a, you know, a conference or something along those lines. It's kind of what I was motivated to do it with and have it so a machine automatically, you're part of a group and a machine, um, you know, based on machine lear learning algorithms, um, matches those particular papers together and sort of spits out, these are groupings based on the matchings of, um, of, of these different papers. Now, this is a work in progress. Um, we have been doing, again, a fair bit of development on this to make it easy. And we're still, you know, somewhat of a ways away, but I'm hoping that this tool will be very useful for Anybody that wants to, you know, maybe it's organizing a paper, uh, a conference, um, you know, using or, or in a classroom, something where you just need to cluster ideas together to get a sense of, you know, what it is that groups of people are actually saying and, um, you know, have an easy way to display or group these particular papers. Now, what we've been doing up until now is using um, human thought. And so we've been working hard and long um, on making this tool to make it sort of functional at this moment. So right now we are just about on the testing stage of it. Um, uh, I've been kind of quiet with it because I think it's a really interesting idea um, and I didn't want to jinx anything, but it's this idea that, you know, we've got often we have moments where we have to organize different papers and there's not really a good tool out there that I know of that is able to do this and able to do it with machine learning um, or natural language processing so we can group things and make sense of them and sort of have an output that is easy to understand. Um, now, obviously, there's always, you know, bugs and things like that. Um, so we'll have to test it, but it's looking good at the moment. Um, and I think we're maybe still about a month away by the time that we can get this out. But I'm I'm happy to sort of share this. And you know, if you have ideas or anything like that that you want to build into the platform, or if this is something that you think is interesting, let me know. Drop me a, a line. Um, you can find me on the internet at uh, contact at reciprocity.com. Um, the idea is to just make our life easier. There's all these like super annoying parts of our life that we can use machines to, to sort of remove the frictions of everything that we do. And, you know, with the state of, with the state of, of, you know, both technology and access to different markets around the world, I'm happy to actually build these things out. Um, to find tools to make it so that our life as researchers, as scholars, as educators is, um, and anybody else, right? Like this is kind of just open, um, is just easier, right? I, I want like, if there's, there's sort of frictions, 
why the hell aren't we pursuing these things, right? And I'm, I'm happy to dedicate some of my time and resources to building this thing out so that it just becomes easier and our life is, is just easier, right? Like, I think that's the ultimate goal is that there's just a lot of frictions that we have experience with and why aren't the hell we we building these things? I don't know. Um, we sort of default to the, the old tools, but I'm happy to build out different things to make it accessible. And this is one of them that I'm excited about is clustering and grouping um, papers together using artificial intelligence based on you know how similar that they actually are and then having some output that sort of displays the similarities between them. Um, I'm excited about this. I think this is a new useful tool. Let me know um, what you actually think uh, in, in terms of whether we should add more things like that or you know if there's anything that you think would be exciting. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.